Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, it guards! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? Isn't it plain? Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Brought the wind's pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging. Now this. Ah, this'll be one for the ploughing annals. Going out with a bang! When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad! I'll try to talk some sense into him. What if he should grow angered? Wench demanded a canopied bed and got it! Silver tableware, she said! Got that too! Lacking nothing! Not a thing! What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lightly come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped a bit under my nose. Then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Know what? You're pathetic. What? What the fuck did you say? You heard me. Wanna die? Go jump off a bridge instead of scaring folks shitless. Looky here! Got us a clever one! Telling me how to off myself! Even willing to help you? No chance you'll do it on your own. You're not just a cuckold, you're a coward. Me? A coward? I'll no listen to this tripe! Don't you go nowhere, you bastard! I'll tie your bow bag around your leg! Give him no choice. Smash yes. My bones, right splintered them. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, would have preferred to talk it out. Thing is, you gave me no choice. Nay, then he apologized. I needed something of the sort, some fella to knock the muck out of my heat. Oh. So, uh, mm. what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door permanently. So it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one. To be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Hut of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear. As a Mahakaman Highland stream. See ya. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests, apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army? Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook.
What do you have to say? Why do you ask? Well, think of it. To marry into a dynasty like that. It'll be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Vesodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. What do you have to say? Chowder for supper of the day. Not true. Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just a gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Be the cook. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out to kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? And might ye miss be midst the unattached? I am. Though only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. We'll be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's fault. That's our target. Have a line you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in. Take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of saltpeter, cordite and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm hmm. Great. Aye, but you could. Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? 
All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mars? He's got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With me own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Have a line. You ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. It's clear. On your way. Plowing city foul. Shite all over again. What? Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Letters must be old. String seems to say so too.
It was true love. Clear for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've only seen several things I gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pr- Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said- I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Not about to hide behind these folk. I'm letting them go. Are you mad? Any idea what'll happen? Yes. And you have any idea what'll happen if you try to stop me? Out of my way. Now. An honorable deed. The court's sure to consider it a mitigating factor. Now, you've one minute to come out. One at a time. Hands on your heads! I'm going. Up the chimney and out. It's grown too hot, pure and simple. Best of luck, gentlemen. I'd gladly go with you, miss. But I'm afraid I'm a wee bit too bulky. It was a pleasure. You had your chance! Attack! Still insist on using that wooden sword. Get to work, Casimir. We'll try and hold off the assault.
satisfied, conscience still fair. Follow my own rules. Couldn't give a shit if you approve. Right. Our paths will diverge soon enough. In the meantime, the vault awaits. Fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. with. On the contrary, I know all too well. You... you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy! Same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. It won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass! Hallowed words, mate. Adam! I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me, old and you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bang. Like a beast, and you the cheek to plead. <laughs> oh. 
take that. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated? What'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Gents, gents, keep calm. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, we're even. Now, Max Borsodi's house. If you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, ply her moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. <laughs>